that solve some problems here to prepare for the CFAT exam. A box contains seven black pencils and 28 blue ones. What is the ratio between the black and blue pen? So the ratio between the black and blue pens here, since we are give, given seven black pencils and then 28 blue pens, or blue pencils, then the ratio would be seven is to 28. Or we can write this as seven over 28. Since there is no 7 over 28 here in our choices, then we need to reduce um, 7 is to 28 by dividing uh, both the numerator and denominator by 7, since they are both divisible by 7. So this is just 1 over 4, or 1 is to 4. So this is a ratio. Let's solve another problem here. The manager of a weaving factory estimates that if 10 machines run at 100% efficiency for 8 hours, they will produce 1,450 meters of cloth. Due to some technical problems, 4 machines run of 95% efficiency and the remaining 6 at 90% efficiency. How many meters of cloth can these machines will produce in 8 hours? Now to solve this, let's take, let's take note of the efficiency of each machine um, first. So at 100% at efficiency, it is stated here that um, 10 machines run at 100% efficiency for eight hours they produce 1450 meters so one machine will produce um, we just divide the length of the cloth 1450 meters by 10 machines therefore each machine produces produces 145 meters Therefore, at uh, 95%, um, for machines at 95%, it will produce, we just have to multiply um, the length of cloth produced per machine times four machines times the percent efficiency, which is 95%. So it is 95 over 100. You can write that as 95 100 over 100. So at 95 percent, um, then the length of cloth that will be produced is 551 meters. And for 90 percent efficiency. Okay, we multiply the length of cloth um, produced per machine by the number of machines at 90% efficiency, which is 6, times the efficiency, which is 90 over 100. And this is just equal to 783 meters of cloth. Now to solve for the total length of cloth that these machines will produce in 8 hours, so we just have to add up um, the length of cloth produced by 4 machines at 95% efficiency and then the length of cloth uh, produced by 6 machines at 90% efficiency. So that would be 551 meters plus 783 meters so this is just equal to 1334 meters of cloth in all
Okay, let's solve another problem here. In a local election at polling station A, 945 voters cast their vote out of 1,270 registered voters. At polling station B, 860 cast their vote out of 1,050 registered voters. And at station C, 1,210 cast their vote out of 1,440 registered voters. So what is the total turnout from all three polling stations? Okay, now to solve this, um, it is given that the turnout at polling station A is 945 voters out of uh, 1,270 registered voters. So the percentage here for the turn a turnout at station A will be 945 divide 1270 times 100 percent which is just equal to 74.4 percent and then the turnout at polling station b is just 860 out of 1050 registered voters so that would be 860 divided by 1050 times 100 percent and this would give us a percentage of 81.90 percent and uh, for station c that would be 1210 out of 1440 registered voters times 100 percent this would give us 84.03 percent now to find the total uh, turnout from all the three polling stations we just have to add up add up all the percentages here so total would be uh, equal to the percentage um, from station a plus that one from station b plus that one in station C and then we divide this by 3 to get the average so this is 240.33 percent over 3 so this is just uh, approximately equal to 80.11 percent or because we don't have 80.11 uh, in our choices we round this off to 80 percent therefore the answer here is letter d or you can also solve this in another way you just have to add up all um uh, the number of voters and divide divide it by the total number of registered voters and multiplied by 100 percent so let's do that total equals 945 plus 860 plus 1210 over 1270 plus 1050 plus 1440 times 100 percent this is 3015 over 3760 times 100 percent so this is just equal to 80.2 percent and then we can round this off to 80 percent so we get the same answer let's solve another problem if lynn can type a page in a p uh, minutes what portion of the page can she do in five minutes so this problem is just a simple direct proportion um, problem. If Lynn here can type one page in p minutes, so that means she can type x pages in five minutes. So we let x be uh, the number of pages Lynn can type in five minutes. So that would be p no, 1 is 2p. 1 is 2p equals 
x is to 5 minutes. And then we cross multiply. So we have 5 times 1 equals p times x. And then we divide both sides by p. Therefore, x is just equal to 5 over p. So Lin um, can type 5 over p pages in 5 minutes. So the answer here is letter D. Right, let's solve another problem. If Sally can paint a house in 4 hours and John can paint the same house in 6 hours, how long will it take for both to paint a house? Now to solve uh, this problem, we use the inverse ratio. So we let um, we let x um, we let x be the time Sally can paint the house and y be the time John can paint the house and z be the time both both Sally and John can. This is just one over z equals one over x plus one over y. So it says here that Sally can paint in four hours. So one over z is just equal to one over four and John can paint in six hours. Um, we can simplify this with uh, fractions. You can add them by finding the LCD. So this is just one over x, uh, one over z. We get the LCD, uh, 24, so this is 6 plus 4, so this is just 10 over 24. Then we cross multiply, so this is 24 times 1 equals 10z, we divide both sides by 10. Therefore, z is just equal to 24 over 10. We don't have 24 over 10 here in our choices, so we can uh, simplify or write 24 over 10 as a mixed fraction. So 24 over 10 is just um, equivalent to 2 and 4 over, or just 2.4. Um, hours. Okay. Well, we don't have 2.4 hours here, so this is just 2 hours plus 0 0.4 hours. So we convert 0.4 hours to minutes, so we just have to multiply this by 60 minutes. Then we have 2 hours plus 24 minutes, or just 2 hours and 24 minutes. Therefore, the answer is letter A.